Private Salazar, there is an emergency in the lavatory. It's urgent. It's an emergency. Clean up in aisle four. That's what the cold burrito does to us, Private Toonhead. <laughs> Hop to it, Cartoon Boy. Call me Toonhead all you want, but without me, you'd all explode. Ugh, what have you done now? We ate cold burritos! Good thing I made these turbo mjolnirs. It's way easier to just remove this mess altogether. Okay, now to pick up all the scraps. And now to install a pristine new stainless porcelain throne. Elliot Salazar to the rescue! These hammers are the best thing my genius mind ever invented. Brains over brawn, every time. Quick! Lock two head in the toilet! Hey, what's going on? We're having a burrito. Warm! Don't do it! The microwave is still broken! They did not just put a burrito into that microwave. Oh my god, I told them a million times the microwave is broken and I can't fix it. I mean, I could fix it, but it's a union thing. Radio Switching my energy field into a burrito containment shield. Sending full damage report to WTF headquarters now. This isn't going to go well. What have you done, Private? You are only halfway there and all our soldiers are dead! I can fix it, sir. You can count on me. Pardon me if I don't share your optimism, Private. Sir, I'm a janitor. I'm well aware, Private. And we're going to a trash planet, sir. I'm not following with you. Oh. Anyway, we don't have time or personnel for another attempt. Do your duty, Private. Salazar, you have been promoted to captain of this mission. This feels very wrong. Okay, Captain Toonhead, let's try the training simulation again. No problem, Janine 5. Collect the scrap pile with your hammers. Now look at the back of your hand to see how many you've got. I have 50 scraps. That's not enough. Collect that other pile. Press and hold the button so your hammer travels further away. Good. Now install one of those crazy turrets you designed in the slot in front of you. All tune rats, Janine Five. Look at her go! Isn't she a work of art? If you say so. Now teleport to your tune ret. Okay. Now switch to your regulation Brent X blaster and help your tune ret. Say hello to my little friends. Say hello to my little friend. What have you done to the blaster? I give them a bit of panache and a dash of personality. Okay, you're the captain. Try to eliminate five targets. This is progress. You've never gotten this far before. Now, use your Eagle View rocket boot so you can see the other turret. Uh, I mean, tune ret below. I see it now! Should I teleport to it? Please. Training finally complete. Hit the target in front of you to complete the simulation, Captain Toonhead. This Toonhead is a captain indeed. It seems you are now technically ready for deployment. Let's look at the map of landfill planet number E209. You need to destroy whatever weapons Voorhees is using. The Earth Radicator 1000? How do you know its name? Look out of the window, Janine. Whatever. By the way, do you need to wear that TV on your head? 
God, let me be me, Janine. Do you know how you look? This is how you look. This is what I have to look at. And that's a problem. How? Be me down already. I'll take that garbage can in apart. Not so fast, Elliot. The planet's readings suggest a multitude of mild energy sources. They seem too weak to power such a weapon, but strong enough to mess with my scanning software. Start with reconnaissance here and see what we're dealing with first. Okay, Janine. So, this golden disc will teleport me there, right? Right. Just place your hammer on the deploy disc for a few seconds. Good luck, Captain Toonhead. Here we go! Oh, the smell. It's terrible. And everything is covered with trash. It's a landfill planet. What did you expect? Holy! A cube with a body! Oh boy! Oh, what the... Aw, cubes that talk? What are you guys? We are Inner Cubes, and I'm your humble servant, Flynn. This is our home, and some punks are stealing our people. Help us, oh glorious angel. Sure, I can take you to my mission ship. You will be safe there. Janine, can you arrange the transport vessel? We don't have any... Oh, you mean your pizza rocket? If it can absurdly go around the ship to fake a delivery, I guess it can work for this too. Uploading the design to your hammers now. There it is. Let me start the launch sequence. While it charges, I will defend you, my new friends. What an A-letter day it is. I must tell others about your presence. Tell me, oh chosen one, what should we call you? You can call me Captain Toonhead. Well, thank you, Captain Toonhead. What a wonderful time to be alive. A cube with a body. Oh, boy. My sensors indicate there will be enemy forces coming from that gate at the end of the path. I hacked its system to keep it closed. They won't bother you. That won't do! Let them pass! I have to inspire these cubes! Captain, this is stupid. We must let Voorhees know we're a force to be reckoned with! This is an order, Janine Five! <sighs> Fine. I'll alter it to your liking. But install some defenses first. Okay, I guess I can install a tune rat. Mm, there. Good. When you are ready, hit the enemy gate and I will let it open. Break that gate! Don't let that WTF scum stop you! What do you mean? They opened it! Uh, well, defend the attack then!
great! Oh, yeah! We must be facing a cunning invader here. Prepare the lady! It looks like that T-Rex can withstand a lot of damage. I can see that! I'll give it all I got! By the way, Janine, do you like dinos? What's your favorite? micro patchy cephalosaurus. Uh, what? I thought you'd say Triceratops. I'm not that basic, Captain. Tunehead, can they get to safety now? And can we get the others? Don't worry, Flynn. We'll go to my ship and plan the next rescue mission from there. The pizza rocket is ready to launch. Jump in, Enter Cubes! doesn't scan. Janine, I'm home. And you brought guests from enemy territory. Oh, is this where heroes live? Used to. Then they microwaved a burrito. <sighs> that voice. Are you the divine cube? I'm Flynn, your humble servant. What? I'm Janine Five. I don't need a servant. Just don't heat up a burrito. They're called Enter Cubes. Voorhees is kidnapping them, and we must stop it. Okay, sure. I hope it's okay to stash them here. Hmm, it is certainly advantageous. I detect a lot of energy inside these cubes. We can use it to upgrade your equipment in the weapons lab. Say what now? How exactly? Simple. We take energy from them. But it's our essence. If you take it away, we won't be inner cubes anymore. We'll be cubes, inanimate and void. Janine, we can't hurt the inner cubes. Upgraded equipment will increase this mission's chance of success, which, by the way, is currently quite low. 
But my people must be saved. Okay. I'll research it further using Flynn's input, Captain. Meanwhile, I finished validating the quality of your new Tunret designs. Aren't they amazing? They passed. Maybe a demonstration will impress you. Pull them up on the screen, please. This Tunret should be able to slow down those punks. May I ask why it requires a snowman on top? Cool! But I'm not even going to dignify that icy question with an answer. Whatever. And your silly crowd control tune wreck works surprisingly well. Of course it porks! Stop swining, Porcine 5! <laughs> Uh, that's... Uh, never mind. Back to our mission. Using what we have learned so far, I've prepared coordinates for a new landing site. Deploy when ready. Back in biz. All right, Janine, same deal as before? Yes. Throw your hammers at the gate to let the enemies in. It's Turbo Mjolnir's, Janine, and I'll do that as soon as I finish installing some Tomb Rats. Thank you. Ready! It's dying time, punks. Fly like an eagle! How did you come up with these designs? Aren't they mind-blowing? Sure, but where do they come from? Stuff I saw in cartoons and then mix that with my genius. So not even from sci-fi? A cunning bunny can take on any evil empire by himself. At least you didn't mail order your tune is that a coyote reference? I didn't know you watched TV. I have access to all of human history, Captain. All of it. Super good!
ended.
Elliot-y. Huh? See? Doesn't scan. <laughs>